hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we look at how we can connect to a windows pc from a mac device and we'll be using remote desktop now before we configure the mac device we have to make some setting changes on the windows pc we want to uh, connect to remotely from the mac device now we'll need to enable remote desktop so to enable it we need to go to the settings for remote desktop so search for remote desktop settings and i'm gonna open this by default this one is turned off so you'll see here that it says enable remote desktop so you need to toggle this to on and just confirm it and it just gives you an explanation of what remote desktop is so it lets you connect to and uh, control this pc from uh, another device remotely the device can be a windows device android or mac os so that's what we'll be using here now once you enable it another thing you want to do is you can go to the users accounts and here you can select the users that can access this device remotely so click on this and if you don't have a user here already added click on add and then just type in the username that you use to connect to this or to log into this PC. And you can check the name. And there it is. So I'll click OK. And now the user is added. I can click OK. So those are the two settings that you want to uh, ensure that you have enabled on the remote desktop. Another thing we'll need is the IP address for this device. We'll need it on the Mac. Uh, device that we'll be using for the remote desktop connection. So open your command prompt. So search for command prompt or just cmd. And here just type in ipconfig. And that should list the IP address. So we need this IP IPv4 address to connect to this device. So the 172.16.1.100 is what we'll need to input on the Mac device. Now that we have that information, let's go ahead and uh, look at the settings that we need to uh, configure on the Mac device in order for us to do that remote connection. Okay guys, now we are on the Mac device and what we are looking to do is we need to find the remote desktop app and then we'll configure that app to connect to the Windows PC that we already set up. Now we'll find, so we'll launch the launch pad and search for app stored. And here we need to search for remote, the remote desktop client. And this one right here, Microsoft remote desktop is what we want. So we'll click on get, click on install. So it's doing the installation right here and we can open it. Let me minimize, I'll go ahead and minimize this. So this is the Microsoft remote desktop tool. And I'm gonna say no for now. I'm gonna click continue. So I'll click okay, click okay. And now we can add a PC. It says add your first PC connection to get started. So I'll click add PC. Here is where we can put in the host name or the IP address. So we'll put in the IP address that we got, which was 172.16.1.100. And we'll click on add user account. We'll use the username you know that we added then you'll need to put in a password here for that username click add now that we have that added you can put a rent a friendly name some name so let's say my pc or uh, you know pc And we don't need a gateway. 
and we can leave this option reconnect if the connection is dropped now click add now it's added what you need to do is right click click connect so right now it's initiating the connection and it failed so click close let's open the terminal and see if we can ping that device let me close this out so it looks like we can't reach it so let me ver verify that that remote device is actually on still on and then we'll try the connection again so I'll pause the video okay so I had to restart or reboot the other device the Windows PC and now I can ping it so if we do a ping we're able to ping it so let's go ahead and try and see if we can connect now and now it's asking if we uh, trust this device because uh, it's saying the certificate couldn't, couldn't be verified so I'll just click continue uh, it looks like we, di we did manage to connect as you can see here we are logging into that Windows PC uh, it looks like it's full screen here and we're able to log in and I'm logged into that Windows PC yeah it looks like I'm logged into that Windows PC and it's uh, full screen let me minimize this so you can just add adjust the screen here if it's taking up all your screen you can adjust it that way you can access your mac device so you can minimize it and then you can open it back up and as you can see we are logged into the device i can just open the command prompt and we can verify the ip again IP config and this is the 172.16.1.100 and we've managed to remotely connect to it and we can now work on this device while we're working on on our Mac device as well so that's all for this video that's how you can remotely connect to your Windows PC device from your Mac device I hope this information has been useful I'll catch you in my next video thanks bye